Hello and welcome to my guide for making high definition m movies using Windows Movie Maker. To start off with you want to open up Windows Movie Maker. Then you want to go under import and import whatever pictures, videos or music you want. I'm just going to import some pictures. And then you want to add them to your timeline. And then of course you can edit them, add transitions, titles, credits, effects, whatever you want. So when you think you're happy with it and you think you're done, you're going to click Tools, Options, and this menu should pop up. You then want to click Advanced, and under Video Properties, you want to go under Video Format, and tick NTSC, make sure that's ticked. And, and next to Aspect Ratio, you want to make sure 16 to 9 is ticked. When you've done that, you want to click OK, and you should notice this changes a little. It's good, you want that, because it's the uh, final so what it should look like on YouTube and then if you want to just preview it and make sure it's what you want I'm happy with that so I'm just going to publish it so under publish to you want to click this computer call it whatever you want I'm just going to call it testing and you can save it wherever you want I'm just going to click next and then you want to click more settings because that is not actually the best settings you want to click more settings and then you want to click the down arrow here and you want to click Windows Media HD 720p 5.9 megabits per second the reason you do not want 1080p is because YouTube can only handle 720 so 1080 would just be wasting room on your computer so when you've ticked 720p click publish you need to remember that uh, the file can be no longer than 10 minutes long and also it cannot be any bigger than one gigabytes or YouTube will not accept it. This shouldn't take too long depending on how big your file is. If you've got a video clip that it's about, you know, hundred megabytes that might take a minute or two. And when it's done you should have this option to play the movie when you click finish. I'm gonna leave that ticked because I wanna check it, make sure it's good. So uh, I'm happy with that, I like it, high definition, so I'm just going to close it, I'm going to close this. You have the option to save it, but it just saves the edits you've done, so I don't really want that, I'm going to click no. Then you want to open up your internet browser, you want to go to YouTube, then under upload, you want to click video file, then you want to upload your video, there's a few ways you can do it, but I'm just going to use the easiest way, I think. And then you want to find the file, here's mine, testing. And then you want to change the title, description, tags, category, and privacy settings and all that. And you can also change one or two more settings when the video is uploaded properly. So it might take about 10 to 15 minutes to process so you can watch it. And then it might take another further 10 to 15 minutes to give you the high definition option. So when, you first, uh, when it's first processed and you can watch it, it will not be in high definition for about 15 minutes or so and then the HD option should be there so uh, I don't actually want this I'm just going to click cancel and then uh, when it's pro processed and it's up there it should be in your video library so thanks for watching I'm looking forward to some more high definition videos out there